thousands of school and college students visited us and many of you asked us lot of interesting question as what is science who are the fathers of science and why do we need to study different subjects to understand science so let's start with what is science the word science means gathering knowledge of why and how things within us around us and in this universe function one of you in fact asked us is science a modern thing actually not science has been there the process of gathering this knowledge had been there since the time we could trace even the earliest humans knew how and where to find food and then they went on making sophisticated structures do complex calculations to understand nature so in short science is a continuous process of discovering and understanding new things and inventing cool stuff as per our records about 2500 years ago in around 600 bc a greek philosopher named thales was the first person who tried to explain nature without using mythology he started using hypotheses to explain the phenomenon he saw in nature this is why even though it is a bit tricky thales gets the award for the father of science so how does science work so you just heard a word hypothesis what does hypothesis means hypothesis means making a testable idea which is based on our prior observations and experiments so first step towards doing science is making a hypothesis the next step is to design experiments and do experiments by various methods and the third step we analyze the experiment to prove or disprove our hypothesis and finally make a scientific theory a very important part of the experimentation is to make them reproducible this ensures that independent people doing experiments same experiments all around the world can get to the similar conclusions hence this makes science rigorously testable evidence driven and reliable okay so let's make it simpler by giving you an example let's think of a flower which blooms only in the night so one of the possible hypotheses based on our observation will be that it blooms only if the moon is out but well remember the hypothesis must be testable so we design experiments to test the hypothesis each day the moon rise is happening at different times so is the flower also blooming at different times depending on the moon rise timings but well what's happening on amavasya when the moon is not there at all maybe the flower is not blooming all these questions and series of experiments will eventually tell us if the blooming of flower is actually dependent on moon rise also keep in mind that whatever results we get should match with others doing the same study elsewhere so in a nutshell science is all about rigorously testing our hypothesis regarding our observations and analyzing what it means now coming to the different subjects that we study is it just so that schools can have different exams actually not there are differences in the different subjects that we study for example there are subjects called natural sciences which take their inspiration from the nature and hence are called natural sciences for example physics chemistry biology etc there are subjects which are based upon the society and its structures and these are called social sciences these include subjects like sociology economics etc then there come the subjects called formal sciences which uh, study kind of abstract concepts and are not necessarily based upon evidences from observations these include examples like mathematics uh, theoretical computer science etc and last but not the least applied sciences the most famous examples of applied sciences include engineering and medicine applied sciences take their inspiration from other sciences work upon them and try to improvise them to make this world a better place to live Thank you.